So my dear, in this tutorial I am going to discuss about humidification and dehumidification. If you are from India, then probably you are feeling this that there is too much humidification, I mean humidity in the air. That's why we people usually sweating, alright? So don't worry about that. I am going to make you understand each and everything about these two topics, alright? So again in this topic, in this topic, I am going to get help from psycho psych psychometric chart i'm going to help i'm going to get help from this one because this is this chart is going to make me understand about this thing all right so let's move to the chart so basically what is humidification i mean air a quantity of air will be increased okay I and mean, quantity of water in the air would be increased dehumidification quantity of water or moisture water vapor i must say will be decrease all right so these two process we usually use or visually we have in case of refrigerating system all right so because it's all about these two things are also most important in case of if we will consider human comfortness okay so basically what i'm going to draw i'm going to draw a simple psychometric chart which which is most common all right so this must be straight this omega is known as specific humidity and this is known as dry valve temperature dbt all right my dear so let's move to the uh, topic so basically what will happen if there is a condition one and uh, there are condition two so if if there is a, there is going on there is going on humidification humidification if there is going on humidification then what we have to do we have to increase its specific humidity this is all about humidification now if we are considering if we are considering about other process humidification means we are going to increase its specific humidity now if we are thinking about dehumidification dehumidification then what we have to do we ha again i am going to draw a diagram for this because this is really important so this one is one this point is two if there is decrease in specific humidity all right but dry valve temperature will be constant if there is decrease in specific humidity that is known as dehumidification and this is known as specific specific humidity de denoted by omega and specific humidity equal to mv upon ma mass of water vapor present mass of mass present in the water vapor mass of the dryer is equal to 0.622 pv upon p minus pv this is one of the most important formula if you are preparing for any complete examination just like gate or maybe J, SSC J, or any other competitive examination. Well, these two examinations are most important in India. That's why I'm sharing with you. I am from India. All right. So I hope you understand these two concepts. Now, what I'm going to share with you, this is amazing. What will happen if we will do humidification in the system? What will happen to enthalpy? What will happen to uh, what will happen to WBT? What will happen to uh, specific uh, I mean notice uh, relative humidity we'll talk on this okay so basically what is what is happening here what is happening here dry valve temperature is constant specific humidity is increasing if dry valve temperature is constant dry valve temperature is constant if specific humidity is increasing that means dew point temperature dew point temperature will also increase relative humidity will increase as well as enthalpy also increase and then specific volume also increase and then wbt also increase so in case of humidification process we can easily understand this by using psychometric chart that what is going on exactly if we will do humidification in the system 
all right so what will happen in case of dehumidification in case of dehumidification we are decreasing specific humidity we have constant wbt now what will happen I mean not constant WBT, it's DBT will be constant. WBT will decrease. Specific volume will decrease. Enthalpy will decrease. Relative humidity will decrease. As well as DPT will also decrease. Now, have you noticed my dear? One thing that is important. If you can remember one side, what is going on? I mean, what is the effect of humidification? in these parameters then you can easily remember this one the most important thing is that you have to remember at least one well i hope you understand the concept what i wanted to make you understand thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye